let me put to you these yeah. allegations yeah. that personally yeah. you have benefited, that your family have benefited, yeah. that your supporters have perhaps been yeah. given contracts or rewards, that maybe you have been easy on loggers who want to develop land in return for benefits to you. First of all, I would like to say this. My family and myself are doing well. It has nothing to do with exploitation, taking anything out of this country. Eh? We, it's normal business. Hmm? Uh, my children are well educated. My children have gone into, uh, in the early days, they have gone trained into, by their own uh, relative to participate in business outside. I had to do business outside more than 30 years ago. Simple reason is that uh, we, I don't want conflict of interest to haunt me all the time. If I do business inside the country, people will say, I use my influence uh, to enrich myself. So we did it outside, but of course, outside the country, if you got talents, you got some money, you can really build good business. But it, you don't have to be corrupt to do this one. It, what I call entrepreneurship has its own reward. Over 30 years, anybody can get rich if you have it, something up there. But if you don't have it, there's nothing we can do. So the allegations that yeah. you have somehow creamed wealth from this country and moved it out of this country, you absolutely deny, yeah? Yeah, of course. Look at what happens to the country today. Uh, the... Uh, the income when I first came was on per capita income was four thousand ringgit. Today it's twenty eight to twenty nine thousand ringgit. Something that doesn't speak for a criming of any economy in the country. What about the allegation yeah. that your political supporters, the yeah. ones that support your party financially, yeah. Yeah. have been re rewarded with business deals, with the nod on certain uh, activities? Some of my a political membership of the party have been very successful in business. Uh, 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 they made three public listed companies, but uh, members of the uh, who are not my party, people who are not my party, have also been successful. There are more public companies uh, uh, growing in Sarawak as a result of good policies on my part, and uh, probably a bit of. Uh, pushing here and there to encourage entrepreneurship. In a country like ours, like in, in, in England in those days, we, we do tend to, to look upon one thing, that the country would not get rich only on the strength of its wealth. Wealth are created because you can encourage people who have got the talents, the entrepreneurship, to use your wealth in the most effective manner. Okay, another claim from your yeah, opponents yeah. is that your family and yourself are li living in a, in a lavish lifestyle and that has become as a result of your political influence. Well, what do you mean by lavish? Let's see, anybody who goes to Sarawak will see. There's no more thatched roof. There's more... Uh, no, no, uh, and the number of houses to be built are mushrooming everywhere. Good quality houses are there all over. I'm one of them. There are houses that are much better than mine. Facts and figures are available. Examine it. If, uh, if uh, we're doing bad things, I would not have lasted a long, long time. You can't hide crimes. You can't hide um, malpractices for nearly 50 years of my life. So, so it hurts a lot. But if you go and you come with me and I go around in the country, there's a lot of people who would rather have a deferential uh, attitude towards me. That's not the kind of attitude that people give uh, to someone who's supposed to be very corrupt, who's supposed to be uh, very greedy. No.